Hello, today we'll be going through a quick start guide to setting up your new portal. Out of the box, you have a site that looks a little bit like this. Obviously, this isn't exactly how you want your portal to look and feel, so we'll want to log into the admin area to start configuring it. To do that, you should have a username and password that's been provided to you by your portal administrator. And then to use that, simply type slash backend on the portal URL, and it will take you to a login area that allows you to use that username and password to log into the configuration pane. The first page you come to will look a little bit like this. This is a page that is basically the status of the portal, the status of the Tableau server, and some information about the top dashboards that have been visited, the top users on your site, and that type of stuff. What you really want, though, is this settings area. The settings area is where you configure almost everything on your portal from a look and feel perspective. Once you click into that area, you'll find portal settings as a sub item. And portal settings is where we configure how the portal uh, looks, how it acts, and just its general UI. The first thing we'll probably want to change is our portal name. By default, the portals just have the name Interworks, but you can easily name this after your company or your division. From there, you can easily change out your logos, your fonts, your font weights. You can even attach things like Google Analytics tracking IDs if you have that information. On the next tab, the layout tab, you'll be able to choose your theme for your portal as well as what shows up on the home page. The default home page is just a simple install instruction screen, and so we probably want to turn that off. There are a lot of different home page types, and you can choose those here. The top ones are the most popular, and those are just basically different dashboards on the home page. There are many options here. Most of them circle around how many dashboards you want to display, the size of the titles, and whether or not a user's recent dashboard should be shown. At the bottom of the list, though, there are a few different options that allow you to choose whether or not to redirect the user to a different page. If you want to use a static home page instead of a dynamically driven one with dashboards, you could use this option. Or if you want to redirect directly to a single dashboard, you could also use this option for that. You can also redirect the user to any dashboard that they have access to. And the system simply chooses the first one they have access to and forwards the user along. Your home page could also be a grid layout of dashboards. It's similar to the top options, except instead of having the dashboards as single boxes, we have a combined grid of dashboards. Definitely feel free to play around with these and choose the one that makes the most sense for you. Once you've selected the home page type that you want, if it's one with dashboards, you'll be able to also choose how those dashboards are populated. By default, the dashboards are populated with the user's favorites coming in first, followed by any dashboards that you, as the portal administrator, have chosen to be featured, and finally, with an algorithm that's chosen here. By default, we have random assortment selected, but you can easily choose a different algorithm, such as most viewed, recommended for this user based on their browsing history, favorited and featured only, or you can manually choose the dashboards that show up. With this option, you can even rearrange the dashboards and they'll show up in the exact order specified. On the features tab, you're able to choose the basic functionality of your portal as well. You'll see a lot of different options in here, such as security options, and then options around the different pieces of functionality to turn on or off in general areas, and even the action items that appear on each dashboard. For instance, if I want my users to be able to export my dashboards to a presentation or a PowerPoint, I can simply toggle that on. If I want to have my users have a print button, I can toggle that on, or even the ability to export the workbook. 
there are a lot of different options here. And so I definitely encourage you to explore them and read the, a little bit more about them underneath the titles here as well. The colors tab is where we choose the colors for our dashboard. You can choose these based on a color wheel or some pre-selected options, or more than likely, marketing has given you a color code that you need to enter in here. Go ahead and select all of the different colors for your dashboard for your portal here. If you want any additional customization, feel free to hop into the styles area. The styles area allows you to insert JavaScript, custom font libraries, or even custom CSS to your portal environment. Everything in this area has a revision history attached, so you can easily revert if you make a mistake. Once you're done with your configuration, simply save this area, and then you can view it on the front end. To do so, you can easily Click this little target icon in the upper right hand corner to preview the website, or you can type in the URL in the browser and go directly to it yourself. As always, if you have any questions on the functionality you've seen in this video, feel free to reach out for help. Also, make sure to stay tuned for our next video, which dives into setting up your own content in the portal.